Hi, this is Simon Judd, and today I'm going to explain the difference between a regular membrane bioreactor, uh, which is what this thing is, and an MABR, or a membrane aerated biofilm reactor. Well, I've already described the workings of an immersed membrane bioreactor in a previous video. For this current video, I just want to focus on the membrane tank. So here we have the membrane tank. The membrane tank is fed with mixed liquor from the process tank. The membrane is also scoured by coarse bubble diffusers, which produce these large bubbles of air which pass up through the membrane, scouring its surface and keeping it relatively clean. The permeate is then filtered mixed liquor and as such the filtered water is very low in pathogenic microorganisms essentially it's been largely disinfected and pretty much completely clear because the pores in the membrane are generally less than 0.1 microns in size now if you compare that to the MABR well it still contains a tank for the membrane but in this case it's fed not with the mixed liquor, but with the wastewater feed. The membrane tank still contains the membrane and the membrane is still fed with air or possibly oxygen. But in this case, it is the air or oxygen which passes through the membrane and not water. Now, as a result of the pores in the membrane being very, very small, the form of the air passing through that membrane is basically molecular or bubbleless, which means you have very, very efficient oxygen utilization on the permeate side of the membrane. A biofilm forms on the membrane surface and the oxygen feeds directly into the biofilm. So the utilization of the oxygen is very, very high compared with a, a regular fine bubble diffuser. And as a result of that, you get up to about 50% reduction in the energy demand for the oxygenation of the uh, biology. But in this case, you don't get filtration of the water. So what comes out from an MABR is basically uh, pretty much the same sort of quality as you'd get from a regular activated sludge process. It's just you have much more efficient biology going on in the process tank than you would with a regular ASP. And that's essentially the difference between an immersed membrane bioreactor and a membrane aerated biofilm reactor.